In the small town of Raven's Hollow, nestled deep within the shadowed embrace of the ancient forest, whispered tales told of a curse that plagued the land. Legend spoke of the howling wind, a sinister force that prowled the night, carrying with it the screams of the damned. Few dared to venture out after dark, for those who did never returned. Amidst the whispers and chilling winds, there lived a young woman named Amelia. She was a curious soul, undeterred by the warnings of the townsfolk. Ignoring their fearful glances, she embarked on a quest to unravel the mysteries of the howling wind. One fateful evening, as the moon cast its eerie glow upon Raven's Hollow, Amelia set out into the forest. The branches of the trees groaned and swayed, as if warning her of impending danger. But Amelia pressed on, driven by a thirst for knowledge. Hmm. As she ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, the air grew thick with the scent of decay. Shadows danced upon the forest floor, their twisted forms mocking her bravery. Yet still, Amelia pushed forward, guided by the distant wail of the howling wind. Hours passed, and the forest seemed to grow darker with each step. Just as Amelia began to question her resolve, she stumbled upon a clearing bathed in an otherworldly light. At its center stood an ancient oak, its gnarled branches reaching towards the heavens like skeletal fingers. Drawn to the tree, Amelia approached cautiously, her heart pounding in her chest. As she reached out to touch its rough bark, a voice echoed through the clearing, chilling her to the bone. Who dares disturb the slumber of the howling wind? It whispered, the words carried on the cold night air. Undeterred, Amelia stepped closer, her eyes alight with determination. I seek answers, she declared, her voice steady despite the fear that gripped her soul. I wish to know the truth behind the curse that haunts this land. Silence greeted her words, broken only by the rustle of leaves in the wind. Then, from the shadows emerged a figure cloaked in darkness. Its eyes gleamed like embers in the night, casting an unnatural glow upon its twisted features. You seek knowledge that mortals were never meant to possess, the figure hissed, its voice dripping with malice. Beware, for the truth may cost you more than you are willing to pay. But Amelia refused to be swayed, her gaze unwavering. I must know, she insisted, her voice trembling with defiance. With a sinister chuckle, the figure extended its hand towards the ancient oak. In an instant, the tree began to tremble, its branches thrashing wildly as if possessed by some unseen force. Then, with a deafening roar, the ground beneath Amelia's feet erupted in a shower of earth and stone. When the dust settled, Amelia found herself standing before a gaping chasm, its depths shrouded in darkness. With a sinking feeling in her heart, she realized she had uncovered the entrance to the howling wind's lair. Summoning her courage, Amelia descended into the abyss, each step bringing her closer to the heart of the curse. The air grew colder with each passing moment, chilling her to the bone as she pressed onward. Finally, she emerged into a vast chamber, its walls adorned with ancient runes and symbols of power. At its center stood a swirling vortex of blackened mist, its ominous glow illuminating the chamber with an otherworldly light. As Amelia approached, she felt a presence stirring within the darkness. From the depths of the vortex emerged a creature of nightmares, its form shifting and writhing like smoke in the wind. I am the howling wind, it boomed its voice reverberating through the chamber like thunder. For centuries, I have roamed these lands, feeding on the fear of mortals. 
But even as it spoke, Amelia sensed a hint of sadness in its words, a longing for release from its eternal torment. With a determined expression, she stepped forward, her eyes ablaze with newfound purpose. You may be a creature of darkness, but you were once human, she said, her voice soft yet resolute. I believe there is still goodness within you, buried beneath the curse that binds you. For a moment, the howling wind hesitated, its gaze locked with Amelia's. Then, with a deafening roar, it unleashed a torrent of wind and shadow, threatening to engulf her completely. But Amelia stood her ground, her heart filled with compassion and understanding. And as the darkness closed in around her, she reached out with all her strength, offering the creature a glimmer of hope in the midst of despair. Slowly, the vortex began to dissipate, its malevolent energy fading into the ether. And as the last echoes of the howling wind vanished into the night, Raven's Hollow was bathed in a newfound sense of peace. From that day forth, the curse was broken and the townsfolk were free from the grip of fear that had plagued them for so long. And though the memory of the howling wind would forever linger in their hearts, they knew that it was a reminder of the strength and courage that lay within each of them, waiting to be unleashed in the face of darkness.